Best show, you're on the air. Hey, Tom, this is Craig on the Pacific Crest Trail. It's Craig! It's Craig. I know this guy. I'm literally standing on the trail holding my solar panel. This so is Human Clock! Yeah, that is me. And you just did the Frankie Teardrop Challenge. I did. And where did you do it? Well, I, I actually called in because I had one that actually topped it um, two nights ago. The first one I did was in a cave called Subway Cave near <laughs> Mount Lassen. And about a tunnel about a third of a mile long. And I went in there, did the Frankie Teardrop Challenge. And it was, it was all right, but then I realized if I sat up and tried moving around in the dark listening to the song it was a lot more scary and it was now where are you now again craig i'm on the pacific crest trail looking at mount shasta right now okay like northern california walking up to canada and you were in the the cave i was in the cave and it got and scary yeah it got scary uh. but it actually, I act, two days later, I actually did something a lot more scary, which is the reason I'm calling in. What is it? Uh, well, about half mile, mile off the trail, um, there's this abandoned train line, <laughs> and I hiked down to the train line through the brush, went to this abandoned rail trestle bridge, and I took, it was in the daytime at the time, and I took a bunch of pictures and video, and then went into town to get my resupply, which I have to give a public shout out to my wife, Cora, because she's been really helping out on this trip. She's awesome. And so I went into town, and then it occurred to me, I was like, you know, I should camp by that bridge. And, the, and then I was like, so about midnight, I hiked with my headlamp for about three miles back to the bridge. And um, the bridge has been closed since 2007. And uh, the thing is, it's not just any bridge. Um, from the movie Stand By Me, you know, the train scene? Uh-huh. It's that bridge. Okay. So I walk out onto the, onto the bridge, and the, the railway got pulled up in 2007, but the trestles are still there. Some of them are rotted, but it's blocked off with some razor wire and some jersey barriers. So you can clearly see that people have gone around the around the barriers mm -hmm. and so it was about one in the morning and I walked out onto the middle of the bridge and it was actually easier to do it at night because you couldn't see the water even though I was doing it with my headlamp and I laid down on the trestle oh. and looked up, <laughs> I looked up at the stars and, uh, and it, was just, it kind of felt like I was just floating there and because there was all these stars above me and there was the like shooting stars and then it was like 100 feet down to the water below me and so I did and I was starting to get a little freaked out but I was like no I have a handle on this and so then I did the only thing I think I could do which was to put on Frankie Teardrop oh I, I, I don't know what I don't know how, how you're doing these things I couldn't do that <laughs> I couldn't I, do that. Well, what was the worst part of it, Craig? When the when the screens started, just because I was going through this like inner turmoil, like thinking like, wow, what if I can't get up? Like, what if I'm too scared to like get back across the bridge? That would be like the worst nine one one call ever. And yes, um, and it would be hard to explain. Yeah. <laughs> no, you've got so, to understand. I was trying to do a thing for a radio show. <laughs> exactly. To listen to a super scary song. No, it makes it, it makes more sense. Just let me, just trust me on this. No, that well, look, I'm glad you're safe. Everybody should be safe, also with these uh, Frankie teardrop challenge. Like, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't want people putting themselves in in uh, in harm's way. But um, I'm glad you did it. It's very exciting. And what was the worst part of it? Um, it was towards the towards the end of the song where it has all that the swirling noises and everything because. Laying there on the bridge, I kind of felt like I was going to, like, fall into the water or just looking up at the sky. Like, I tried closing my eyes, and it actually felt safer with my eyes closed because I couldn't see the sky. So I did, I opened up my <laughs> eyes, and it felt like I would fall into the sky. Oh, so it was just, I, <laughs> that's terrifying. So, 
Yeah, and so I was just, just laid there, and, you know, when, when those screams came in, I was just like, really, do I have to be doing this to myself? But I did wow. it. I made it the whole ten and a half minutes and yeah. got back up and yeah. walked yeah. back across the bridge. You did it, buddy. And I'm I camped, and I camped, I camped right where... I put my tent right exactly where River Phoenix and Corey Feldman and all of them are arguing whether they should cross the bridge or not. That and is... I camped right there. Unbelievable. You are brave. I am not. <laughs> I don't know how to... Uh, I don't know how you, people like you do that stuff. Yeah, it was, it, was a nice, it was a nice diversion from the trail, so... Well, thank you, Craig. I appreciate it. And you get You're home welcome. safe, buddy. I will. Okay. Bye. Take, take care, Tom. Bye. Good guy. Good guy. Bashio, you're on the air.